no spoilers here. Another solid entry, but maybe a tad too average outside of the chilling and refreshing opening. When the big shocking moments come, the rug feels like it was only lightly tugged instead of yanked out from under you, because this is becoming the horror version of the Fast and Furious, where characters can survive anything. Let's get into it. Being the sixth entry in a long-running franchise puts filmmakers in a position of reinvention, subversion, or remixing, usually. Or rebooting, I suppose. And Scream 6 is a weird mix of all of those. There's echoes of Scream 2 in structure, dashes of 3 with set pieces, and a whole lot of the brutality from 4 and 5. And it's a good time at the movies. After the divisive reaction, especially to the handling of Dewey in the previous film, it also feels much safer. When the big shocking moments come, the rug feels like it was only lightly tugged instead of yanked out from under you, because this is becoming the horror version of the Fast and Furious, where characters can survive anything. They must have a crazy healing factor, and while I'm happy many survive, it completely undercuts the tension of many moments and snaps you out of the film. I'm all for suspension of disbelief, when it's appropriate, but in a franchise as brutal as this, the consequences ultimately felt much lighter than normal. And the reveals? Whenever watching these, it's hard not to guess what's coming. I guessed some of it a mile away, some of it I did not, and one portion got me, but it's because it was a bit of a cheap trick red herring in the plot. It didn't blow me away like previous entries had. I do really like the new cast of characters. The handling of their PTSD from the previous film isn't always consistent and dances upon some college cliches, but the tension it adds to the layers of trust they all struggle with is compelling enough. I think they've created a great new core four and I'm excited to see them again with the inevitable Scream 7. Given where this one leaves off, they don't have to make another one. But when they do, because let's be honest, it could be really chilling given some of what happens in the third act. That is the greatest success in pushing these characters into likable new leads, which the last struggled with a bit. Gail is a classic legacy character and her presence actually feels the most tacked on, just repeating same bits as older movies. And Sydney is missed, but it doesn't take away from the film at all, which surprised me. I rarely thought about it and appreciated how they addressed it, despite the on the nose nature. Kirby from Scream 4 was very much welcome back, but sadly underutilized given some stuff in the third act. The set pieces have some really unique moments like the subway in the trailer or a portion with a ladder or grocery store. It feels more action packed than previous entries. And I love that the characters fought back so hard because that usually annoys me about horror films. But a lot of it is the rinse and repeat, chase around rooms with a knife, like all the other movies. And one person does something really dumb with a gun that had me outright face bomb. Certain cliches or dumb moments just can't seem to be avoided and they should be able to by this point. There's a couple jump scares and good moments of tension such as the subway scene, but no squirming in your seat kind of horror like some of the previous ones. Outside of a couple of the gory moments, which hit hard, that brutality though. Wow. A lot of it is fine, fun, enjoyable, and safe. Even the obligatory franchise commentary is sort of a throwaway scene with a nice funny addition after the credits. But sadly, it doesn't feel like it connects like the others have at all. In fact, I'd say the meta nature is the weakest of all of them pretty easily here. And that's a bit of a letdown. There were a lot more rich themes to be mined and explored, but largely it just repeats previous beats, especially for the leads and in the reveals, essentially copying a couple other movies and not feeling as original or fresh as it should. It's difficult to discuss without spoilers, but all, all Scream 6 is a brutal yet safe, somewhat but not entirely more predictable entry in the series that undercuts itself far too often with an absence of consequence, and it never feels like it justifies a proper reason for existing. Even the NYC setting, outside of one or two moments, feels entirely wasted when it was so heavily featured in the marketing. I was neither fully underwhelmed with disappointment nor overwhelmed with entertainment, just whelmed. It's an average screen movie, which means it's a fun time at the theater. It's well made, just don't expect to have your minds blown this time. Check those expectations and really suspend disbelief at what wounds are fatal and what are not. Because a couple of them just... I give Scream 6 3 out of 5 stars. It's not at the bottom of my ranking though, that's probably still Scream 4. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more content coming soon, ring that bell so you're notified, and remember, always look for the good.